I made an extra $10,000 with these different Nigerian fintech apps. Here's how. In the beginning of 2020, I decided to try out an experiment and as at December of 2020, the outcome was quite interesting. This experiment helped me save and invest over 4.6 million naira, which as at the time of making this video equates to $10,000. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing some tech apps in Nigeria that can help you do the same and even more. Before I go on, I have to say that this video is not an investment advice. It's just what has worked for me. Please don't copy me as some of the methods I used are quite extreme. However, I thought they were useful and I thought I should share them with you guys. Without further ado, let's get to the video. First off, I want to say Happy New Year to everyone watching this video. I really thought hard about posting a video like this and this is not clickbait at all. The records are there. I've been getting a lot of requests from financial companies as well and also a few people who have reached out for some tips. This video is that video and more. Maybe if you like it, I might consider doing something more along these lines. Let me know in the comment section below. The first app I want to talk about is called Quidax. Quidax is an app where you can trade your cryptocurrency on. Bitcoin was a major tool for me, especially when it came to holding and having a fast or swift means of exchange that the nature of Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is and you know what it facilitates. Nigeria is fast becoming a hub and you know you don't have to deal with the bottleneck of some banks and their limitations. I like Quidax because of their level of very verification there are different levels of verification of course to prevent fraudulent activities and do know that for an extra level of security you would need some details of yours to be added at higher levels you know to use the app on quidax you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies like bitcoin ethereum xrp dash litecoin and usdt you can also view your transactions fund any of your multiple wallets which is also easy because you've got a qban or qdax bank account number to easily transfer money which works like a normal nigerian bank account They've also got an order book for those who are more experienced and you can see real-time trading and how trading is done and make your own orders. One of the features I like about Quidax is that when you want to withdraw, you get a confirmation link to authorize your withdrawal for extra security. I'm not sure any cryptocurrency or many cryptocurrency apps do this and this is a very useful thing as you get notified by email when the transaction is done. I've done a lot of transactions using Bitcoin. As a graphic designer and freelancer as well, I work for many people in many countries and the way I mainly received payments was through Bitcoin. It was just fast and efficient and you know it's quite volatile right now but it's worth noting and studying because it's, it's really the future of currency thanks to the internet. The internet brought people closer, we're able to do business with people miles away in seconds and Bitcoin even makes this way easier. Don't need to wait for days anymore. If you want any more questions about Quidax or even cryptocurrency, they have an exhaustive FAQ page. I'll link that in the description below. You can read up on everything you need to know about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I also link the app as well, the Android and iOS app, and they also have a web app. And I'll be crediting two people 10,000 naira worth of Bitcoin when they download Quidax. So make sure you download the app with the link in the description below. And also a way I made money with cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, you know, apart from investing, apart from receiving it as a normal credit for a transaction is also investing. Bitcoin goes up and down. So be very careful when you're trading. Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency. The second app I'll be looking at is called Butter by Flutterwave. What does this app do? Simply put, with Butter, you get to send and receive money, but the flagship feature is creating virtual US debit cards and paying online or paying for online subscriptions that are not available locally here in Nigeria. They give you a US address complete with a US credit card tied to your name. In order to use this app, there are two ways to go about it. First, to download it via the App Store or the Play Store normally, or you can use their web app. I think all the apps I'm going to mention in this video have web apps as well. I have no idea about the limits, but on their website, it says you can create unlimited number of virtual cards, but do note that it costs $2 to create a virtual card and $4 to create a gift card, and they only work on these selected websites. With Bata, you can also get a Nigerian bank account number complete with a Nigerian virtual debit card as well. You can make transfers by a time and yeah, you can also pay bills and even send money requests. In order to use the dollar card, you need to fund it too and that's after you've added money to your Nigerian card or Nigerian wallet. Hence, you know, why you have a Nigerian card. I didn't like the Nigerian card because I couldn't use it for anything really. It's just a limited card which 
I don't think you can truly rely on, except if you're doing stuff within the app. I also don't like that their exchange rates can be quite on the high side. There was a time I was uh, trying to use the app and I had to update it to get a better exchange rate. If I didn't know better, I would have lost money because of how amazing Nigeria's exchange rate is or Nigeria's currency is. I don't know if the exchange rates now update over the air, but I think it's not good if it doesn't do that. I highly recommend it for those who want to carry out microtransactions like subscriptions, Spotify, Apple Music, and don't want to be limited because you can't access it in Nigeria and access a service due to the service being blocked here. The third app I'll be looking at is called Piggy Vest. It's one of my favorite apps and it's basically a savings app with really interesting interest rates. And I highly recommend it for those who are prodigious accumulators of wealth or better still financially forward people now before i move on one of the books that changed my mind about money is called the millionaire next door and i'll be giving away one copy to someone so do like this video give it a thumbs up and it will be appreciated also if you find this video useful at all a share to your social media or anywhere will be really appreciated and you can subscribe and turn on notifications now back to the video if you want to save money i highly recommend this app piggy vest in terms of design the visual design of piggy vest is 9 out of 10 it's really really usable and they also have a web app that has similar functionality as well it was one of the tools i used in my experiment <laughs> to lock money for a long period of time i locked money from january to december and it accumulated to an interesting sum this was with their safe lock feature you also get a flex account which was once again like a bank account like a nigerian bank account you have a nigerian bank account number you can easily transfer money into and they give you a decent interest rate so you're not just saving but you're saving with reasonable interest there are investment opportunities on the app and also group savings if you can be patient and just add any extra income that you have into it you never know how much it could accumulate to like they say tiny droplets eventually can make an ocean or maybe a glass of water cheers piggy vest also does this thing where in the middle of the year they give you a yx score it's basically a report card to show you how you performed with your savings i asked one of the co-founders of piggy vest and she said that the score isn't based on the amount you put in but the habit of saving so yes i recommend 100 that you should try this app the fourth app i'm going to be talking about is bamboo disclaimer i've worked with bamboo in the past but again this is an independent review the app is in simple terms a very easy way to buy us stocks if you're in nigeria you can earn commissions from stocks on the stock market when you trade you can also make a lot of money actually it's pretty straightforward this app and you know once you're in it you see stocks that you can buy you can buy shares and they're also insured all of the apps i mentioned in this video have some sort of policy on your insurance or safety of your money on the app you also get to see tips and tricks guides glossary basics of the stock market you can also get educated and you can put your stocks on the watch list you can see how your stocks are performing you can see the featured stocks and of course news that is directly related to the stocks or shares of company that you are interested in do download the app with the link in the description below if you haven't already and you know it's one of the interesting ways that you can gain some little cash or a lot of cash with investing you are basically investing and you're not just keeping money away you're growing it does that make sense another robust app to consider if you want to invest in stocks is true i like how clean the app is the interface is especially how categorized each item is as well when it comes to trending stocks the categories of stocks and the assets to invest in top gainers and marketing news everything is just easy to reach on here you can also even invest in nigerian stocks this i think is a good alternative the last app i want to talk about is called ruby's digital bank it's a hundred percent online bank uh, that operates like an actual bank except you don't have to go to a physical office to do your banking it's all done in the app you can also send and receive money on the app you can buy airtime buy data pay for your bills you can create a savings plan invest you can also become an independent banker even where you make money based on people that you refer and you can also request for a debit card all within the app there's also a section for corporates as well one thing to note is that no matter the transaction you actually pay 10 naira for your transfers which is like the lowest i've seen in any bank do check out all these apps i mentioned i'll leave links in the description and to round up and in summary the first one is squidax a leading cryptocurrency app Bata, which i use for my dollar transactions the third app is piggy vest which i'll say is a high interest savings account the fourth app is bamboo for investing in stocks from nigeria and lastly rubies which is a purely online nigerian bank 
Which of these apps do you use or have you just heard of for the first time? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if there's anything I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the very next video.